Welcome back to Grinning Goat Life Forge Podcast, Forged in the Barons Card Valuations Dream Podcast. Vod, this is Odwicta. This is Murps. We're on the last one. Last Maybe. video. It's Warrior. It's not 12 a.m. We're doing good. All right, all right. Let's 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 roll through this. Uh, so warriors always get good cards um, because their hero power sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. Warriors get uh, usually really good cards and also really bad cards. Uh, but in this particular case, uh, I think it's pretty consistent. They're, they they get pretty good cards consistently uh, here. In fact, they have two A rated cards. Uh, A being like true silver level, um, and we'll we'll talk about those first. First, we have conditioning conditioning is a uh, two mana card it says give minions in your hand plus one plus one um and then it ranks up by uh, turn five it gives minions in your hand plus two plus two so at this point it's like three uh and then on turn 10 it gives minions in your hand plus three plus three so at this point it's just really really freaking good uh if you have minions left in your hand at this point so this is a very good card i don't know if it's actually an a i feel like i want to demote it to like a b plus are you with me on that or do you think sure. you want to keep it as an a no i don't okay good let's demote it i'm going to demote it to a b plus there we go. It is now a B plus. I think that's a more accurate reflection of, of this card. Um, I mean, it's just a lot of stats. There's really nothing else to it. You, you just add all the stats up, and then you realize that you are getting a lot of stats. It is a lot of stats, uh, and it, it's quite decent. Like, it, it's quite decent. Um, how do we have this as an A before? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I I'm gonna ex uh, just say that was like a typo. I have like what? I, I don't. I don't understand. Anyways, um, it's a B plus. I, I think it is a B plus. Um, this is a card that I don't know. I like. I, I can imagine some people might want to rank it lower. Uh, I think if you play with it a couple of times, you will start to appreciate it. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, you can't you can't play it on turn two. By the way um unless you yeah, have absolutely you nothing to do like if you have no two drop yeah you could play this on turn two it's better than doing nothing i wouldn't wait um to, to play it later on because you don't have a two drop like you need your three drop and your four drop to like really anchor yourself right so if you have like a three drop and a four drop in your hand and no two drop play this sure don't hero power you're a warrior uh but if you have like a two drop option and you just have this just keep this in your hand because you're gonna as long as you play on curve you're not missing out on any stats you know, it's only when you start playing out more cards that you're getting into your hand that you start to miss out. And rarely will that happen before five mana. Now, on the five mana turn, and anytime after, you can play this card and it gives you plus two, plus two. Now, whenever you play whatever other minion that comes out, it'll be on curve still, right? So if you play like a spider tank with conditioning, on uh turn five you, you get a five six on turn five which is totally on curve so that's when you want to use this card turn five or afterwards um because it keeps the tempo correct and then it just over tempos afterwards for all the other minions that you have so think of it as um the first stats you pay for normally on the same turn that you play it and all the other stats you get is free tempo and free card advantage so that's where the power comes from so people are like, oh, I don't know how like good and like whatever it is. It's a lot of stats, and it is very good tempo. Just just not on turn two, and, and you might be no. tipped off by it because there literally was a paladin card that is give minions in your hand plus one plus one. It was one mana, so two mana is higher. And these days, cards are usually better than cards were back then. So this is a little over costed. For that but plus two plus two is double plus one plus one and you get it for the same mana so that's when it kind of gets back on track damn look at that math hole oh. mm -hmm. okay let's talk about the actual a tier card then 
The actual A tier card is Outrider's Axe. This is the actual A tier card. It's a game changer, flat out. It is a four mana 3 3 weapon, which doesn't sound particularly great, but it says after your hero attacks and kills a minion, and remember, almost every attack will kill a minion. Or else why are you attacking with a weapon and hurting yourself? So after your hero attacks and kills a minion, draw a card. That's four mana for three cards and also nine damage. I, I don't know what else to say about that. It's really good. That's it. Uh, it's really freaking good. Now, this isn't an S tier card or anything. Um, this is this is a solid A tier card. Mm -hmm. You're getting a decent weapon already. It's quite a good draw. You don't even need to like keep on killing minions with it. If you kill a minion with it during the the span of this thing, it's already bonkers good. Really, really good. So yeah, I I think that's all that needs to be explained about it. It just has to like kill one minion, and it's like a four mana three three weapon that draws mm -hmm. a card that's already really good and then if you're drawing two cards oh man like we're, we're, we're talking serious value here yeah well, well you gotta uh, remember though that it's not a curve card because it only it should be obvious it only deals three damage on turn four now right if you have a target you can make it a curve card but know that its value is in the fact that it draws you cards not like a three three weapon for four mana is not good you'd rather have a four two weapon um, yes. and, and like a 4-2 weapon would be on curve but a 3-3 weapon is not so you can play it but just know that you're going off curve um, in order to draw cards which makes sense right like if you're going to draw 3 cards you expect to be anti-tempoed a little bit and this doesn't anti-tempo you that much so it, if you want to see like what holds this back from being S tier for example um, 3 damage coming on turn 4, that means all the 3 4s that get played perhaps a turn before, you can't cover them, right? This is why it's like, okay, uh, a 4-2 can cover certain things. Uh, there's 5-4s uh, and, and also like um, the 3 4s that always get played on, on turn 3. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Number 2, um, card draw has just become easier. Slash yeah. generation, card draw, whatever. We've seen it uh, from meta to meta. The value of any individual card generating or drawing cards has gone down because more cards are doing the same thing. So uh, all those contribute to the fact that, or yeah, this is not an S tier card yeah. just because of those reasons. Yeah, and also there's three charges, and this is one of those weapons that you want to hold a little bit. Like you don't want to just throw a charge away because if you can't kill a minion, what are you going to do? Like just deal face damage? That's terrible with this weapon. Um, so it's taking up the spot of a weapon. Not that there's like great warrior weapons anymore, but in any of the expansions that have warrior weapons, I didn't even check what warrior weapons are available, but I'm sure some good ones are, are, are available. Uh, you, you won't be able to like use them while, while you still have this equipped. Like, that's why it's not like, I know some people look at it and like, this is bonkers, this is S tier. Yes, but it's a warrior weapon. All warrior, it's like warlock board clears. Like, all of them are kind of really, really good, and they just get knocked down a bit from kind of doing the same thing. And in this case, they actually take the same spot. Um, okay, so Dark Moon Madness does not have a lot. Skullamance Academy has Reaper Scythe. Like, that's insane, right? Like, you want to be, like, playing that kind of stuff. Um, Ceremonial Maul, you may want to play. Ashes of Outlands uh, has Bulwark of Azanoth. That's fine. That's whatever. Um, Rise of Shadows has Wrench Caliber. That's not particularly great. And Mean Streets of Gadgetxan has Brass Knuckles, which is good. But okay. So we're in a meta without a lot of great weapons, too. So that makes this one even better. Um, but still, it's still blocking you out of, uh, of, of weapons, which is still a big deal. Like... The cards are kind of dead in your hand if you have weapons. Yep. Okay. On to the B pluses. On to the B pluses. So we already talked about conditioning, which we have lowered to a B plus. Stone Maul Anchorman is next. Stone Maul Anchorman is a five mana, four, five rush pirate with frenzy. Draw a card. 
Um, it has rush. You will be able to frenzy it. It will draw a card. Yeah. There are times in which you can't frenzy it, as in something is so urgent that you just have to kill it. Okay, fine. Uh, most of the time, you want to frenzy it. So pick something that you can frenzy. Yeah. That's basically it. That's, it's that's just pretty a... straightforward card. B, B plus, good. Very good. This is fireball level of good. Um, all right. Then the two legendaries are also B plus, so let's talk about them now. One is Rokara. Rokara is a three mana, two, three rush. Not great. But after a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one, plus one. Uh, Rokara is a friendly minion. It's not after a, another friendly minion attacks. So if you can get this one to live, it itself will get a plus one, plus one. Or you play it when something else is going to attack something and survive. The, stacks, the, the stats stack up. Um, but it's not like like brokenly powerful. Yep. It's basically it. It's good. And you're going to find quite a few uses for it. Uh, all you need is just something on the board. Rokara itself is fine. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah, like, if you can get this to trigger once, you've already gotten its value. And everything else is just bonus. And you can quite easily get a significant amount of other stuff. Um, uh, the other one that is a B plus, so also really good, is the other legendary seven mana five four, uh, Overlord Sourfang, Sourfang, seven mana five four, Battle Cry, resurrect two friendly frenzy minions, deal one damage to all other minions. So first, it's a five four that whirlwinds, which, which is nice. That's probably worth about like five mana, maybe. But then you resurrect two friendly fr uh, frenzy minions. So if you have the deck for it, it could be. Well, no, it resurrects the minions first. Uh oh, but but then it deals one damage to all other minions. Oh, and so then it frenzies it. Frenzy, wow. Yeah. The thing is, you have to have frenzy minions die. I don't know. Does it change your score? No. Yeah. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't. I, like so. It seems like you misunderstood it. Yeah. I this did. is the score that I gave it, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, um, but yeah, you have to have two friendly frenzy minions die. And if you see our ratings of frenzy minions, they're not like that good. Like they're yeah. kind of just okay, right? Like they're, they're fine. You want them in your decks, but they're not super premiums. Yeah, um, I think this is already pretty... I'm surprised you rated it this high if you didn't understand what it did. Because B plus is good. Like really good. Um, and this is quite good. Sometimes not good good uh and sometimes brokenly good here's the thing with frenzy minions the ones you have are probably large that's what i considered because okay. the good ones are all the larger ones because they need to live a turn right and or right. they would have rush already so that they could trigger the frenzy once you resurrect them right so yes this isn't just a ping this is resurrect two friendly minions and frenzy everything mm. like frenzy them immediately mm. so that you instantly get the value yeah yeah i mean this is uh, because they're instantly yeah this is even more applicability than even if it's something like a peon or whatever right it'll get frenzied yeah it, that's great that's fantastic like you just get the two three or rather two two body after the frenzy uh and then you get the spell it's, so yeah even if it's a, a stupid peon or something it's fantastic yeah cool um that is all the b plus tiers now we're going to go on to the b tiers the first one in the b tier is the war song envoy perfect frenzy target one mana one three frenzy gain plus one attack for each damaged character um when it gets yeah. damaged that counts so it's at least gonna get plus one attack so it's at least a mini enrage and then if anything else is hurt, it could get a lot more attack. This is, like, for a one-drop, you're not going to get better than this tempo-wise. Yeah, it's a really good one-drop, basically. Um, so it's a B. Like, I, I would say it's a, it's a like, low B-ish, but mm -hmm. you do get a ton of stats. Like, 
a one mana one three you're already like okay that's pretty good um and then anything above that and this can get uh you know like really high in attack for just not doing anything special so uh quite good and then once you get that attack you can go face so this is on frothing berserker levels of oh man it can like get super insane but it's for one mana this is uh, a lot more than what you should get yeah frothing is either a b plus or an a um okay next up is whirling combatant whirling combatant is a four mana two six common card uh both battle cry and frenzy deal one damage to all other minions so so first of all it's a four mana two six which is bad stats but not exactly off curve and it deals one damage to all other minions so it's already doing pretty well then on frenzy it'll do it again the problem like that sounds like it would be even higher than this but the problem is that the frenzy you're not in control of so this is a potentially negative frenzy because your opponent gets first hit on your minion if they have anything on the board or if they can ping it or something and then you risk hurting any other minions that you have because remember you just played a turn and then your opponent gets a turn. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, that's Whirling Combatant. It, it does a lot of stuff, just not all good stuff. Um, next up is Morshan Elite. Morshan Elite, another B tier card, five mana, four, four, epic. Taunt. Uh, battle cry if your hero attack this turn summon a copy of this so we just went over weapons aren't great but they're still good because they're they're warrior weapons has to be equipped before playing this or like late in the game maybe on the same turn and then you get two four fours with taunt two four fours with taunt is pretty good for five mana You're- yeah if you get it on four taunts, like the the taunt is also very important. Yeah, yeah, the taunt is is super important. Um, if you can get this on curve, it's amazing. It's better than a B. If you can't get it on curve, it's still pretty good, but it does require a synergy. Like you can't just play a five mana four four taunt. Right. So, so on average, this is a B. But if we're looking at standard deviation or volatility. Uh, this is one that's going to be a little bit higher because it's uh, so bad mm-hmm. if you aren't triggering the battle cry. If you do trigger the battle cry, it's really, really good. Um, so this one is going to be one of those cards where like, if you got a weapon and if you're attacking with it and then you're able to play it, uh, ridiculously good, like much, much higher than B, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's tempered by the times in which you kind of can't play it or you just absolutely need a taunt or to play something and you're like fine five and a four four taunt and it is f tier bad yeah next up is c plus rank uh it is rancor four mana rancor it's a spell uh deal two damage to all minions so a volcanic potion for one more mana gain two armor for each destroyed it's not good, but it's still a board clear. It's quite serviceable. Like, you're a warrior. You don't really have board clears. And here's a board clear. Maybe a little overpriced. The armor doesn't mean crap in arena. But uh, it's still a board clear. That's why it gets a C plus. Yep. That's it. That's not it. There's one more card. Well, I mean, that, that's all I have to say about that. Oh, okay. There's one more card, one last card. The final card we are reviewing is Bulk Up. It is a common warrior spell, two mana. Give a random taunt minion in your hand, plus one, plus one, and, and copy it. So the two mana that you have spent, you get a card back, so you're not using up a card, and you get four stats total, so that's kind of approximately what you want out of it. And you get to copy a taunt minion. 
but you have to wait till you get a taunt minion in your hand, and then you'd kind of have to want to taunt minions, and then you'd have to be able to play it at some time, and it's just like all sorts of bad and unnecessary, and why would you do that in the arena? I imagine it's for like some constructed shenanigans, but doesn't have a role in the arena really. Um, we rated it a F plus. It's not totally worthless. You're going to have a taunt card in your hand at some point. So it's not like a dead card. But you're just like paying mana and making it really and getting anything out of it really, really late, and you're not getting much out of it. Yep. Nice. We uh we did it. Woohoo! That is it for this. We got it right before 11 o'clock came. So we have gotten this down in eight hours.